Hello, today we are going to be giving Royal a haircut. I'm going to show you the simple way that I do it. Any mom can do it. I used to use the bumbo and sit on the floor. It makes it easy and that way he's safe while we're cutting hair. And the high chair back doesn't get in the way um, while we do it. So we'll get started. Mm -hmm. A few quick tips, we always keep snacks nearby and have someone there to help occupy and entertain baby while I'm doing the haircut. This will be a tutorial using only shears and a comb and then of course spraying the hair so that it's wet. So we will take the sections above the ear starting out and I basically just cut it to the level of my fingers. So we're just taking sections about every inch around the head. And you'll want to keep your hand on the head to kind of guide you and to also keep from a wiggling baby messing you up too much. <laughs> so I'll continue going around the bottom of the hair, the hairline, all the way around doing this same technique. So the next step, I will be combing all of the hair down so that I can carefully cut along the hairline. Now here you'll want to be extra careful, so if you need someone to help hold the baby's head so that you can do it very carefully, I would recommend doing that. Of course, I've been cutting hair for 10 years, so this is nothing new for me. And I'll be cutting the hair around the ear on the opposite side. And here I kind of show you how I would hold the, the ear out of the way so that you can carefully clip the hair without getting the ear. Now I'll be taking really small sections at the back and just clipping them to the same length as those bottom ones that I just trimmed making sure it's the same all the way around and using my fingers as a guide. For the top, I like to keep it a little bit longer, so I will guide my fingers up the hair until it's about the length that I want and carefully trim just straight across. And you'll take one inch partings along the top, the crown of the head so you'll continue taking the hair and the sections along with you so that you can use the previous cut hair as a guide. And then I'll be going doing the same thing along the side of the head and trimming those hairs to the ones that I cut at the top. I hope this all makes sense. I'm not super efficient in talking about how to cut hair. <laughs> this is new for me. So I hope that this is helpful. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to help you. So now doing the same on the opposite side and I know he's so wiggly, so I hope that this is easy to see but it's also real life. This is how it is cutting a baby's hair. <laughs> Once I finished on the top, I take the front section and I will trim that to the length that I am wanting it 
I'm just kind of checking all the hair here, making sure it sits well. And now trimming the front, and I kind of do it with a point cut rather than straight across. That way when his hair's in front, it doesn't look just straight across. Now this is probably the trickiest part of the whole haircut. Using the comb as a guide, I will be taking the hair up and kind of blending the two sections together. So the, the top, bottom one and the top one. And if you can't figure out how to use your comb, you can do what I'm doing now with my fingers again. It won't blend as well, but it's definitely a better option if you're not comfortable just using the comb. The other tricky part with just using the comb is that babies are so wiggly, and so it's just hard sometimes to, to blend it. And now I'm just going through kind of styling his hair how I normally would do it and checking to make sure I got all of the hairs cut and where I need them. So in the front here, it kind of sticks out on this side. So I'm going to use my fingers and clip the hairs a little bit shorter so that they're not sticking out. And he's pretty much had enough, so I'm about done right here. Hey, thanks for watching. Hopefully that was helpful for you. Obviously babies don't sit still very well, so it was a little tricky at some points, but I hope that it helped. Thanks for watching. See you next time.